Ever wonder how a simple text message travels thousands of miles in just a few seconds? Or how a video call connects people from different corners of the globe with barely a delay? The answer lies in the robust field of telecommunication engineering. Welcome to a journey through the fascinating world of signals, networks, and wireless communication. Picture a serene lake. When you throw a stone into it, ripples spread out, carrying the impact of the stone across the entire lake. This is a simple way to understand how signals work. They are like those ripples, carrying information from one point to another. In telecommunication engineering, signals can be analog or digital. Analog signals are continuous, like the ripples on a lake. Digital signals, however, are discrete. They carry information in binary form, ones and zeros, much like Morse code. Signal processing involves manipulating these signals to extract useful information or modify them. It is the key to converting real-world phenomena like sound, light, or temperature into digital signals that machines and computers can understand. Now, imagine a world without wires. It's not a fantasy, it's wireless communication. It is the transfer of information between two or more points without any physical connection. Think about mobile phones, Wi-Fi, satellite TV, wireless computer parts, and GPS. All of these use wireless communication. This technology relies on the principles of electromagnetic waves, frequency bands, and antennas. But how is all this information organized? This is where network architectures come into play. A network architecture is the design of a communication network. It is a framework for the specifications of a network's physical components and their functional organization and configuration. There are two main types of network architectures, peer-to-peer -peer and client-server. In a peer-to-peer -peer network, all devices are equal and can connect directly with each other. This is like a group of friends where everyone can talk to everyone else directly. In contrast, a client-server network is like a classroom. The server is the teacher and the clients are the students. The students can't communicate directly with each other. They have to go through the teacher. To sum up, telecommunication engineering is a vast field that encompasses the study of signals, their processing, wireless communication, and network architectures. It is the backbone of our interconnected world, enabling the seamless flow of information that we often take for granted. Remember, signals are the carriers of information, like ripples on a lake. They can be analog or digital, and signal processing is all about manipulating these signals. Wireless communication, is the technology that enables the transfer of information without any physical connection. And network architectures are the designs that organize this information flow. So, the next time you send a text message or make a video call, take a moment to appreciate the complex engineering that makes it all possible. This is the magic of telecommunication engineering. It's not just about networks and signals, it's about connecting people, shaping societies, and transforming the world as we know it.